Now, I just have to show you. Sorry, everybody. I did not hear Kirsty's comms at all. But I have to show you something really cool. Look in that hole. There are three hungry little faces appearing out in the form of red-billed, horn-billed chicks. And Kirst, I think I've actually... Oh, there we go. I've got it back again. I've got comms once again, which is good news. There we go. I can hear Kirsty once again. Oh, there's three little hornbill chicks in there, and if we wait patiently, we've just seen the, the adult feed them. If we wait patiently, they could pop their bills out any moment now. It's so cute. I didn't realize the hornbills were still breeding. I'm very impressed. Perhaps the late rains have inspired a late breeding of hornbills and various other bird species, I imagine. There you go. You can just see them shuffling. They were making such a noise earlier. They're quiet now. Waiting for one of the... Here he comes, here he comes. Can you hear them begging? <laughs> hey, cuties. <laughs> oh, that's the wonderful thing, and it's very well-timed for Mother's Day because the female hornbill will climb inside that hole. Such a tiny hole. Hello, little beak. Shh, making a racket. The female hornbill will climb in there, you lose her flight feathers, and she'll actually be blocked in by the male. And then once the eggs hatch, she grows back her flight feathers and she breaks out, and she helps the male to feed them. You can actually see where all of the waste material is coming out of that hole. Oh, there's an eye. Look, there's an eye looking at us. Welcome to the world, little bird. Yes, we see you. Herbert, it always amazes me. You want to know how do they get out of that tiny hole? And it really is. It's so small. But birds are capable of squeezing through very narrow spaces. Of course, they've got the fluffy layers of feathers that actually take up quite a lot of space, but can be squished down, kind of like a cat. You know how cats can basically squeeze through any kind of opening that their heads can fit through? Hornbills are much the same, or all birds are much the same. And they're a lot smaller than they actually look. Oh, look! voracious looking things they're actually quite i find baby birds quite terrifying you know odd okay not terrifying that was the wrong word um there's something manic about baby birds because of course they've got to out compete each other they've got to out compete their siblings for access to food and whoever shoves their way closer to the parent whenever the parent gets back and makes the most noise is the one that's most likely to get the food that it's after it's more pronounced in raptor species, where ultimately you get quite a bit of siblicide, whether actively or passively. And by actively, I mean pecking the other chick to death, which does happen with quite a few birds. Or passively, in that they just completely attract the adults. They monopolize, that's the word I'm looking for, monopolize the adults' attention so that they get all of the food. And I'm keeping an eye, I want one more feed. No, I'm just waiting for Mr. Hornbill or Mrs. Hornbill. I don't think the female's still in there. We're just waiting for Mr. Hornbill to come back with their next meal. They're still tiny. You can see their bills are a yellowish color, not the bright red of the parents. Come on, Dad or Mum. There's hungry mouths to feed in there. Looking out, picking at bits of bark. Hey, little guys. Ah, uh, there we go. Anne was wondering about the mother bird and if she was still in there. I don't think so. I haven't seen any sign of a flash of a red beak amongst the tiny three yellow ones. Oh, pulled something out. What's that? Piece of bark. That's not going to be very good to eat. So I don't think she's in there. And I also I've noticed that these these chicks are quite far along in terms of their fledging. You can see they've started to get the adult coloring. And I think at this stage, mom has probably broken out. And you can see the hole's been opened up a little bit. 
Mom's probably broken out, and she's probably assisting Dad when it comes to the feeding. I could be mistaken on that, but I don't think so. I think we would have seen her by now. I definitely counted three beaks, and they were all yellow. But those chicks are quite big. They're almost at the stage, I think, where they're going to start breaking out themselves. I think that hollow must get very squishy. I'm not sure how large it is in there, but all three of them... They're like little dinosaurs. Just sticking their beaks out. Come on, Mum or Dad. Quickly, one more feed while we sit here patiently. The reason that I saw them, because my spotting skills are good, but not that good, was because I heard the one screech at the adult as it was flying away. And then I started looking for hollows in the tree. They make a very characteristic screaming noise that they will continue to make even once they've fledged. And there's a family of red-billed hornbills that lives in our camp, and every now and again we get that whine of one of the chicks asking for food or begging for food. It's a delicate balance, this, because make too much noise and you could actually attract predators. A harrier hawk would make short work of these little chicks. What's it doing? Interesting. Is it adding or taking away to the edges of the hole? Looks like it's digging. Looks like it's digging, doesn't it? Is it almost time to break out? Are they going to make the hole a little bit bigger? <laughs> Look at that sinister eye. Hornbills have manic eyes. They're not actually manic, but they just look a bit odd. Oh, here we go. Well done, Craig. Well spotted. The adult is back. I don't see any tasty treat. Oh, no, I do see a tasty treat, but why? You, you've gone in the wrong direction. Your babies are that way. Maybe the adult just wants the food for itself. Oh, here comes one. Here comes one. Here comes the second parent, so mom is out. There we go. Oh, vicious squabbling happening in there. Still one more adult to go. Here it comes. Maybe I was mistaken. Maybe there are only two in there. I thought I saw three. How cool is this? That's awesome. This is probably the best view of hornbill chicks I've had, poking their noses out of the hole. Ooh, someone's upset. Oh. Definitely a nest to keep an eye on, I think. It's a wonderful thing. You don't just, when you're on these live safaris, you don't just come out for two or three days holiday. You get to follow the comings and goings of all the animals for days and weeks at a time. I think there's only two. I think I miscounted. Whilst the third one is not capable of pushing its siblings out of the way. Okay, nice.